This video demonstrates how to set up a secure web server for Armor Block 5000 IO blocks. To begin, enter the module's IP address into a web browser. Make sure you are using the HTTPS prefix. If you were unable to connect, verify that no active connection to the module exists. In this demonstration, the IO module was owned by a controller before configuring its secure web server. Since this is the case, we will initiate a module factory reset now. Before we perform the factory reset, it is important to document the current block dial settings. Once that data is documented, set the dials to a value of 888 and perform a power cycle to the module. Make sure that the controller is not able to set up a connection to the module. Next, return the dials to the original values and perform a power cycle once again. Now you can enter the module IP address into a web browser and proceed to set up the secure web server. Access the web server page through the advanced option and click continue if required by your browser. Upon proceeding, you will be prompted to set up a new password for the default admin account. The old password has been set to password by default. Enter a new password of your choice and click Set Password. You can now sign into the secure web server page with a new password. Signing in allows us to access and write the web server configuration. Under the Web Security Setup tab, you can either use a self-signed certificate or a certificate authority. Following the certificate setup, you will now see the lock symbol when accessing the secure web server from a browser. To recap, when setting up a secure web server for Armor Block 5000 IO blocks, avoid a controller connection to the block before configuring the secure web server and use an HTTPS prefix to connect.